Satan is extremely idiotic, but what does it have to do with the video? Absolutely nothing, but sometimes it's good to remind him. But today we're gonna to be going over love and, and the importance of living in love throughout your day, all day, forever, and how it creates peace, happiness, well, joy, and how the joy that's out in this world is completely different than when it's from God. Welcome back, everybody. Hope y'all are doing amazing. Today is about love. I already said that. Don't know why I'm repeating it again. Remember that love is not a feeling. Love is a person. Love came down in hopes that one day that you believe in him so that you can have eternal life. Now, there is a distinct difference between your Christian lifestyle out in this world and then the Jesus lifestyle. Christian lifestyle in the world is more or less of feeding the homeless, doing this and that, and showing that you are good and that God's proud, right? Well, I think it'll be easier if I show you, so come on. Like I said, love is the key principle here. And uh, well, God, we're gonna write him here, and we're gonna write Satan on this side. So, um, oh, I misspelled it by accident, that's okay. Uh, we're gonna, God can heal, right? We know that, he can heal. What else can he do? Oh, he, he could make you famous uh, when he sees your humble heart, right? That uh, whatever your job is may get to that point. But he can also make you rich because you have a humble heart, right? You're not greedy. But he can do the exact same thing. He can heal your cancer stage four all the way. He can make you famous completely and make you, oops, just as rich. But what is the difference between the two if you get the same outcome? Remember, like I said, love is the key here. Now, God loves, right? He does not just heal people, but he loves people. He does not just give people money, but he loves them and looks at their heart and see if they are loved themselves. Same thing with that one. Here, this guy up here, well, he's stupid. He's gonna make you all this, He's gonna make your body feel good. He's gonna make your uh, life all good out here. He's gonna give you a lot of money. And it confuses people. Why would Satan wanna give you this? Why would he wanna give you fame and, and fortune and, and, and give you those type of, I guess, healing blessings, right? But if the Bible says that he's a thief, he kills and destroys, that doesn't sound like it right away, but it most definitely is as if right here, we're only looking at the physical attributes of, well, the world, which is completely, like I like to say, garbage. He's a liar, right? He will lie to you saying, this is what matters. This will make you happy. I can do the exact same thing God can do, but he's gonna leave out this. He's gonna leave that part out. And that's where the lies come from. And that's why he says, be sober minded because he pours, what is the word? Prowls like a roaring lion, I don't know. As 1 Corinthians 16, 14 says, let all that you do be done in love. Because if love is present, God is present. Physical things don't matter. Doing all this out here doesn't matter. But when love is present, that's when it matters. So if you're praying for people and they get healed, but love isn't there, then it doesn't do anything. You may be thinking, well, they're getting healed and this is pleasing to God. No, because he's love and he needs to be there. He needs to be involved. Uh, let everything you do be in love, be with Christ. Uh, be like Christ. Christ, Jesus always was with God. Everything, uh, everything he ever did in his entire life was with God. And you can see the benefits with it. And there's a good example of what I just wrote in the Bible when Satan was tempting Jesus and wanting him like, oh, look at all this water and look at all this. And this, this can all be yours when you just worship me. He was telling God, Jesus this. So he's making it sound extremely amazing. He's, Satan's making it sound so beautiful, like such a beautiful picture that why, why would you deny that? What? He's a liar, deceit, stupid, right? Oh, by the way, I didn't misspell it. So be Christ-like. Why do you think we got our word Christian from? Let me go over the, wor the, over the origins of Christian, right? We can take this out. Christ, be Christ-like, right? Back in the olden days, there was a guy named Ian. Back in the olden days, right? And his friend told him, you need to be like Christ, Ian. And Christian was born. 
because Ian needed to be like Christ. So whoever you are, be like Christ, Ian. And now, if you believed any of that, then you deserve to get hit with a stick. But, <laughs> but anyway, no, that's not what that's not what happened at all. But uh, the or well, I guess you can take a few of that is to be true. It is good to be like Christ, and that's the whole point of being a Christian is to be like Christ. Uh, forget Ian; he's he's not in the picture. So if you're like Christ, then love is there. So there's a lot more things I can do on the board, but uh, let's go sit down. All right. So like I said, give no opportunity to the devil because how many times have has a voice come to you say no? You can do it later. You're doing something right now. This is way too interesting. You don't need to do exactly what God said at this very moment. But at the same time, God wants you to do it. Excuses, right? There's always a source of where that would come that where that would come from. Because he can get if you let him into one opportunity, then he can slip in right into another one. And then it becomes a pattern and then you don't even notice that he's there anymore and then it just becomes a way of life. Be sober minded because he's gonna prowl and you need to be aware. Like I said in the beginning of the video, love is not a feeling. Love is a person. Love out here in the world without God isn't real love at all, which that's just an emotion. Like I said, joy. When God says he is your joy, that is a completely different joy than what this world has. Because you become joyful from an experience or from, from just having a good day, things going your way. When it's from God, literally nothing has to happen for you to be joyful. Nothing needs to be happening out in the world for you to just have a blessed day. You're just so full of love that joy, peace, happiness, everything that is good is present as well. With love in the world, like relationships in the world, will say, I love you, but then break up apart. But love never breaks up ever. You may think you love them because of the things they did for you, the things that you liked about them, or whatever it is. Not everything is in the mind. Love isn't up there either. Love does not live there. That's not where it comes from. Love is from the heart, is from God alone. So whatever you do in life, do it through Christ. Everything, literally anything is possible with Christ. If it's in the Bible, I would take it as literal as, as I take it so literally when he says, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. There are so much opportunities now that with Christ, but you limit yourself because of the mortal mind that we have been prone to think. Luckily, we have Jesus or blessedly, we have Jesus, that we live in the spirit, and everything changes from that day forward to where your mind does not live out here, but it lives according to what's in here. And that's where the unlimited, unleashed power of God, the fulfillment of everything comes forward. Satan will try to do things to please you out in this world, but just to get you away from God. That's all it is. It's just an illusion of, wow, he's doing anything he can to get you away from God. So then he's literally just giving you whatever this world has, which is pure nothing. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Messenger out.